morning. It's 5.40 in the morning. The pie and I both are very sleepy, but we're about to head off to try on so I can go to school line in the morning and then get her ready for the large pony division, which I'm super excited for. I just don't sound that excited because I'm super tired right now. But hopefully a 15 minute drive to try on will give me a 15 minute nap and I'll restore my energy. But let's get into it. To start off the morning, I went ahead and went to Lime and Peach's stalls. I gave them their grain and then I gave them their hay so that they would settle in. And once they had been munching for a while, I went ahead and took Lime's sheet off so that I could tack her up and ride her in the morning as they do allow schooling in the rings in the morning. I meant to take a time lapse, but I actually did not take a time lapse of me undoing this sheet. So I had to speed it up on iMovie, but iMovie does not speed it up anywhere near as fast as a time lapse does. So I kind of just look like I'm going at normal speed. Believe it or not, I'm slower than this to take off a sheet. After schooling Lime at the crack of dawn, I had to of course grab some matcha to give me some energy and here are some clips of me riding Lime. This first round is our WIHS medal round, and since the first jump was on the front of the ring, you're required to do a courtesy circle, and we go ahead and pick up our right lead, and are headed off to the first jump. We come over this first jump and get a nice distance, and then we get a little bit of a late lead change, but we're not going to go to the second jump of the outside line. We're going to turn and go to the second jump of the diagonal line. And then we're on our left lead, and we're going to go down the outside line. We get a good distance to this line. And so far, we're holding a pretty consistent pace. And after the outside line, we're going to go to the diagonal line. And I ride out into this turn, and we get a good distance up to it. 
and we get seven strides and then we're on our right lead to make our turn and i'm gonna skip the first jump of the outside line as that's what the course says to do and i make a really tight turn and go to the second part of the outside line and then i had to switch to my right lead and we're gonna head off to a diagonal single to finish up the course but our pace throughout this entire course was very consistent and steady and i was pleased with it This round is my first hunter round with Lime. It counts towards the large pony division. And I walk quite a ways before I start my trot just to keep Lime nice and calm. On my own, you made it so. And now I'm chasing nightmares to I used to run when you get to the great big things. Stopping you when you laugh at me. Hope for us because I... We pick up the right lead and then as you'll see, we pass this log jump. We pick up the right lead and then I just come out and I make a lead change to the left. And that's just to loosen her back in. And we head off to the diagonal single. And our pace is pretty steady, about the same as the WIHS metal pace. And I really love this pace as this is what a true hunter pace should look like. As normally Lime and I are a little more speedy than this. So I'm hoping to make more of our courses have this speed as she looks like a hunter and she looks steady. Then we're gonna head to the outside line. We go a little off distance to that first jump, but then the second jump of the outside line was good distance. Then we changed to the right lead. We probably could have gotten our change earlier. We're picking up our speed a little bit, but then we slow coming towards the jump as it's a far distance and we get the early distance, but we didn't get a chip, so that's good and our pace is a lot more steady coming around this turn and we're headed to the outside line and we get a really nice distance to this and we go over the second part of the outside line and we're gonna come around and go to the diagonal line and i ride out onto the fence just to get a better distance and i like to look almost past the diagonal line and then turn in that helps me sometimes to get a better distance as before I was turning early and chipping. And then that wraps up this course and then I do my courtesy circle. This next round is our second large pony hunter round, but it also counts towards the classic, which ended up being combined with the small ponies, so it was a small large pony classic. But again, we're gonna walk in quite a ways just to keep her calm. And then we're gonna start our trot, and then we're gonna pick up our right lead as that's where the first jump is. It makes a right hand turn. We get a nice transition and are headed off. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. Our pace is staying consistent from when we first entered and we get a really nice distance to the first jump and after that first diagonal single we're gonna head off to the outside line and our pace is just so beautiful we're not speeding we're not slowing we get a nice distance to this outside line and we get the correct strides but our pace is still slow after the outside line we're gonna go to the diagonal line and again i try to stick a little more on the fence to get a better distance then we come to this one we get seven strides like we're supposed to. We take it a little early as she was a little slow down the line and had a slightly shorter stride, but I still really like the pace. So we get a good distance to this outside line. And we landed on our left, so we have to change to our right lead. We got our change in a better spot than last course. And we're headed off to a diagonal single. 
and I begin to almost sit and that helps us get a better distance than last time we took it early versus this time we took it right at that happy spot. And this round we actually got first and got one of our highest scores ever. After all three jump rounds, we had the under saddle on Saturday. So here's us doing a quick little hack. And I only have a few clips as, again, my philosopher does not like filming the flat. Hope for us because I believe the home was just you and me. I thought you were the one for me. That's why I give you everything. So I was really proud of our rounds and we got some of the highest placings we've ever gotten before. And the WHS, which I normally don't even play, so we got fourth, then we got a third, and then we got a first, and we got a fourth in the flat. And then here are some pictures of me with Unicorn Grooming Spray, and if you haven't already seen on my Instagram, they actually sent me some products for free, and I got to review them, and oh my gosh, do they work. They kept lying, super shiny throughout the show, and she seemed to itch less. And on the product, it actually says that it's supposed to reduce itching, and I think it actually worked. But anyways, if you guys haven't seen my Instagram, go watch that video. Unicorn Grooming Scray works wonders. Hi guys! I'm here with Lime, and it's like, it feels like 90 degrees, but it's probably only 80 degrees. But anyways, Lime and I did all our classes, and Lime did super well. We actually ended up getting some really good ribbons. Um, the WIHS, I think we got fourth, but I'll have to check back. And then our first large printing round, we got third. And then our second round, which also counts towards the classic, we got first. And I'm so excited about that. And then we did the flat, and we got fourth. Um, there were some really good college ponies, and I'm so proud of life. But right now, I'm just grazing her, and then at around 2 o'clock, I'll go back to the barn as I'm waiting for Ava's division to start with Peaches. And if you guys don't know who Peaches is, Peaches is <laughs> my half corner horse, half Welsh pony. And this is her first time at Tryon and Ava's first time at Tryon. So I'm super excited for them and excited to see how their rounds go. Anyways, bye. Here's Ava, and her YouTube channel is AGK Equestrian. She's on Peaches, who is the half Welsh, half quarter horse pony that I own. She's super pretty all braided with those four white socks. I only got a few clips of her in the schooling ring, but I figured I'd include those too. You're unaware, keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. So in between Ava's rounds, she did her first round, everything was fine, and then about three trips later of some other rounds, it started pouring down rain. It just like completely and totally sheet rained. So they called off all the classes and Ava and I and then my sister and her sister filmed a reel while it rained. Ava did get to finish her rounds, and then about three hours later, Ava and I went and walked the Grand Prix course as it was open to anyone to walk. Silo bar for 21 and you, not up. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> okay, we're about to walk a Grand Prix course. We're not competing, but we like to think we are. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else you cross by 
After walking the Grand Prix course with Ava, the Grand Prix finally started and I filmed a few of the rounds, so enjoy a few of the clips that I did get. the Grand Prix we actually ate dinner and once we finished our dinners and they had to stop for a water and drag break we went and grabbed ice cream Already know 
I just came back from watching the Grand Prix and it was so cool. But sadly, I have to leave early as I have to get good night's sleep as the large pony division will be kicking off at 8 a.m. Fun, fun, fun. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here as it's around 9.30. But I'll see you guys in the next video.